Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. We're back on Sportsbit betting insight today from sbrpicks.com, and it's Sunday night football. Big game breakdown the Philadelphia Eagles. Road chalk at Seattle, minus five and a half, 47 and a half the total. And look, this Eagles point spread run now, 8-0 against the spread. They've covered the number by 103.5 points during that span. That's almost 13 points per game. When you talk about that type of point spread success with those type of margins, look, the last three games, they've beaten the spread. This is a hot public team everyone knows about. They've beaten the spread by 21, 21 and a half, and 14 points. And it could have been worse versus Chicago last week. They were up 24 nothing at halftime. They could have covered the spread by whatever they wanted to in that ballgame, but they shut it down after the break. So we're talking about a historical, legitimately historical ATS run from Philadelphia. But on the other hand, this team's been really good in all aspects. You know, top five on offense, top five on defense, top 10 on special teams, according to the FBO rankings. You know, really good. But they haven't been challenged in a while. They've had one road game since October 12th. It was, uh, you know, uh, they had last five weeks, they had a bye and four wins by 23 or more points. So they've been crushing everyone, and they haven't really been tested of late. That's a concern when you're laying a price in Seattle. Now, the one good news for the Eagles, and I mean, there's more than one good news, but one good, one good thing for the Eagles in this matchup they went to Seattle last year. They played in this environment with the 12th man and all of that. They lost 26 to 15 at plus six and a half point dogs midseason, but they have experience on this field. Carson Wentz, Wentz talking about it. Quote, it's a huge help. It's definitely loud. It's quite the atmosphere. It's a fun place to play. Most guys have been there now, so that'll pay dividends in just our week of prep knowing how much we need to emphasize hand signals and communicating things non-verbally. So yeah, when we look at Philadelphia, obviously, right now a team that has attracted a very broad groundswell of support covering point spreads week after week. You get public and you get wise guys because their stats are there. So it's been that way for Philadelphia. We've seen some of the worst games of the year for the sports books involve the Eagles. Certainly that game with the Eagles against Dallas. Uh, on Sunday night a couple of weeks ago, stands out as being, if not the one of the worst, the, or not the worst, one of the worst games of the year for the books. They've been getting crushed by this team. Of course, the level of competition here is a little bit tougher, and Russell Russell Wilson continues to make plays. Uh, Russell Wilson, I mean, Wentz is probably <laughs> Wentz might win MVP. Russell Wilson, in my mind, the, the Seahawks would be like a two-win team without Russell Wilson this year. He's been as valuable as any player in football. But look at this tweet. Uh, from Gil Brandt, Russell Wilson has accounted for 96.3% of Seattle's touchdowns this season. That's the highest percentage by any player in the Super Bowl era. Only one offensive TD has been scored by the Seahawks this season that did not involve Wilson. Week four, a 30-yard rush by J.D. McKissick. So we're talking about a QB that has to do everything right now. And look, the wide receivers are okay. Jimmy Graham certainly uh, stepping up. Uh, and he's developing a nice rapport with Wilson. Eight touchdown catches over seven games. But the team still can't run the football, and they're not going to be able to run the football. Now, concerns about the pass defense? Yeah, the first two games without <laughs> Cam Chancellor and Richard Sherman, pass defense allowed 386 yards at 5.8. Of course, one of the two games came against San Francisco, but the playmaking wasn't there. Only one interception over 67 passes. So the 5.8 yards per pass doesn't look bad, but the fact is, they're not generating takeaways right now without their two or two of their best playmakers in the secondary. But from a value perspective, I mean, look, the markets do what they do. Philly is the hottest team in the NFL when it comes to betting. There is an enormous Eagles bandwagon, and that's why we've seen nothing. We, see, we saw Philly open the road chalk. We've seen nothing but Eagles money. They were as high as plus six. We did bet down to five and a half. So the markets have said six was enough uh, for Philadelphia. but. Certainly from a uh, recent history perspective. I mean, Seattle hasn't been plus six at home since early in their second season under Pete Carroll. That's game four 
of 2011. It's worth noting they covered that game. Uh, plus, uh, I think they were plus six and a half against uh, Atlanta. Uh, they lost 30, 30 to 28. So they only lost by two. And by the way, they haven't lost a home game by more than a touchdown since week seven of 2011. That's 55 games since then, including the playoffs. And I know it's only five and a half, six, but when you're not losing home games by margin, not a lot of leeway there uh, for the Eagles. I think the Eagles get tested here. Seahawks are my clear choice, plus the points on Sunday Night Football. We'll be back on Monday. Loaded show, as always, Mondays. you got to see the bad beats, bad bets, bad for the books on Mondays. All the action from the weekend recap, plus look ahead to Monday Night Football. And you know what we're doing here on Sportsbit. Every single bowl game preview extensively, intelligently, good analysis. Be sure to check back next week right here on Sportsbit. Betting Insight today from SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.